Hello and welcome to a new week of meals. I don't know if the sound on my uh, video here is going to be quite um, up to par because Colin stole my headphones and I'm borrowing some really old Razer ones. So we'll see if this works. Um, but in any case, I am starting off with a uh, Mexican street hot dog, I guess you could kind of call it. Um, these hot dogs are super popular around here in LA. You can always see like little carts um, selling them in the middle of the night, you know, after sports games, uh, things like that, events. Um, but yeah, it's usually a hot dog wrapped in bacon and then served with peppers and onion. And so here I'm just starting off browning off some onion and then I'm gonna add some green bell peppers to that. I'm gonna saute these, get them uh, a bit of color so that they are ready to go. And then I'm just gonna cook the uh, the rest of the ingredients, basically the hot dog. I'm gonna wrap in some bacon, stick that in the air fryer, cook that until the bacon is done. And then I'm gonna put that in between uh, two, well not two, uh, in a hot dog bun and then serve that up. So here we go. I will just let you watch the rest of the uh, steps here as I complete this particular recipe for the week. I'm using some Hebrew National 100% Beef Franks because those are my favorite kind of hot dogs. I like an all beef hot dog. You can use whatever you like. You can even use like the cheddar cheese filled ones if you like or, you know, get creative with it. It doesn't really matter. Um, see, I'm wrapping it in some bacon. I'm going to stick that in the air fryer. I'm going to cook a bit until the, the bacon is basically cooked. So I think that was at like 375 for maybe about seven, eight minutes. Um, the hot dogs really just need to warm through. Um, but yeah, there you go. I'm just going to be able to fit all of these hot dogs with the bacon wrapped around them in the air fryer. And then once that is done, I'm just going to assemble everything. In the meantime, while the hot dogs are finishing up, I am going to make a sort of Thousand Island concoction here with some mayo, some sweet relish. I've got some ketchup and mustard and a bit of onion powder. So just mix that up however you like, just you know, to your taste. And then that's gonna be set aside. Colin wanted his a little bit different. He doesn't like the peppers and onions. So I'm making a, a kind of a different, basically like a cheese, cheese version of this. So I'm mixing up the Thousand Island dressing and then I'll show you exactly how I put his together. I had picked up these Hawaiian hot dog buns here and I'm gonna use that for Colin's hot dog. So here the hot dogs are ready. I'm just pulling them out of the air fryer and then set those aside and then um, get everything lined up so that we're ready to put everything together. just splitting open the hot dog bun here. I'm gonna spread some of that Thousand Island dressing on both sides of the bun. I'm gonna add the hot dog with the bacon wrapped around it. And then I'm gonna top with cheese and stick that back into the air fryer until the cheese is nice and melted. And there you go, those are Colin's two bacon cheese hot dogs. He ate and devoured, I mean, he devoured both of them, so he really liked them uh, with that Thousand Island dressing inside as well. So those are ready for him. And then because I didn't do the uh, bun version for mine, um, we have a bunless version, you'll see right here. So this is traditionally how it's kind of served, you know, with a bit of mayo on the side or on top of the hot dog, um, but obviously I don't have the bun on mine. So there you go, side of onion and uh, peppers. So yummy and just like, it smells so good. When this is cooking up, it's just like, <laughs> it just makes your mouth water, but there you go. And then this is a close-up of Collins right here. Mm -hmm. 
Next up, I am making egg roll in a bowl for the very first time. Super easy though, I have to say, it was really, really easy to make. So I have this uh, ground pork that I was defrosting in the refrigerator. I'm just gonna brown that up. I'm gonna add a bag of coleslaw mix and then season it up with some soy sauce, uh, a bit of grated ginger, and uh, probably some salt and pepper along the way, I'm sure. So recipe for this is linked down below. Uh, I do have a recipe that I followed or more or less took inspiration from and that will be linked down below so here you go this is the recipe right here just add the pork and the coleslaw mix and again just season with all of the uh, other flavors that you like This is like a meal in itself. Um, I don't know that I had any rice. I think maybe Rob might have had some rice along with this. We might have had some leftover rice that he ate with it. But um, I ate mine just as is, and it was perfectly delicious. And I decided to add some minced garlic to mine. So there is a big dollop of it, uh, a dollop, spoonful? Yeah, spoonful of minced garlic uh, out of the jar. So the recipe called for about a tablespoon, I believe, of grated ginger or just ginger. I had a knob of ginger and I probably only used a probably, I don't know, maybe a half to three quarters of a teaspoon. I didn't add a lot of ginger. I just wanted to take it a little bit, uh, just, uh, just a tiny bit at a time because it is a very strong flavor. So, um, and I found that this was perfect for my palate. So you just add as much as you like. And there you go, just top with some uh, sliced green onions to serve, and that is the egg roll in a bowl. Last step, I am just doing some steak, potatoes, and some blistered shishito peppers, which I love. I adore shishito peppers. So I'm just taking some potatoes here. We actually got these from a friend from her garden, and so she gave us a bunch of different ones. There was like a white potato, a red one, and then this one has purple skin, but it's white on the inside. So um, they were all very creamy. Um, I wouldn't say they're like the super, they're not like russets. They're more like uh, along the lines of the um, Yukon Gold, like nice and buttery kind of. Uh, in texture. So um, I am just going to toss these in some olive oil, some garlic salt, a little bit of pepper, and that's going to go into the air fryer until, the, until they are cooked, probably about uh, 400 degrees for about 20 minutes or so. And I did two batches since they didn't fit in our air fryer. multitasking here so while the potatoes are going in the air fryer I'm going to blister up some of those shishito peppers so I saw these at the grocery store and I love shishitos as I mentioned so I decided to pick up a pack um, I only cooked half of the package which was a total of probably about four ounces or so so I watched I washed them uh, rinsed them and then dried them and then I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil coat, coat it and then add it to a really hot skillet that's just going to cook uh, until they become blistered and you know somewhat tender and then those are pretty much done I'm gonna make like a little sauce for it in just a little bit but I'm I don't think I recorded it and then uh, the main entree here is going to be these top sirloin steaks I got for 99 cents clearance they've been hanging out in the freezer so definitely a good bargain here a really good hearty meal for really not a whole lot of money so here we go the shishito peppers you can see I'm just spreading them out so that they're in a single layer I'm gonna warm those through until they get blistered flip them around until they get to the consistency or the doneness that I like and in the meantime while those are cooking <laughs> I got three things going at a time I'm just going to take the defrosted steaks I'm going to just kind of let them sit at room temperature I'm gonna salt and pepper them very simply and once the peppers are done, I'm going to remove, remove the peppers and then I'm going to replace them with the steaks. So there you go, just salt and pepper on both sides until they are ready to go. Okay. 
can see it's got some nice color already. I'm going to flip it and then just kind of keep cooking them. You can see they're still a little firm, so definitely want to blister on both sides and then I'll continue cooking them until they get a little bit more tender. And the finished potatoes right out of the air fryer. I'm just going to scoop those up, put them in the bowl, and then I'm going to finish off the like the second half, the second batch in the air fryer, and then those are ready to serve. Back to the peppers, you can see really, really good color on those. You can see they're kind of starting to turn a little bit yellowish. You can tell they're starting to cook down a little bit more. So I'm going to keep those going until they're all kind of about that color and they're nice and tender and ready to serve. And then uh, I will plate them up or put them in a bowl. So these peppers are done now. Uh, the recipe on the back of the package says you can just sprinkle with some salt and then you can serve it. I decided to do kind of like an Asian-esque kind of flavor. So I just put together some soy sauce, a little bit of sesame oil, and a teensy bit of oyster sauce, and then uh, a little bit of honey to sweeten. I mix that up and I pour it over the peppers. So um, I'll show you the finished at the very end here. But here you go. I've placed the steaks in the same skillet here. I'm gonna cook about like five to seven minutes on each side. These are super thick. I would say these steaks were almost two inches thick. Uh, so five to seven on each side. And then I'm gonna continue kind of flipping them every like couple minutes until it's to the doneness that I like. I wanted it medium and I think in total probably cooked about 20 minutes or so. Uh, once it's done, I turn the heat off. I'm just gonna put the butter on top and just so melts all over it and just gets so yummy. Uh, so there you go. That's pretty much done. I'm going to take it off the heat and then I'm going to remove the steaks from the skillet and then put them on a plate just to, um, to uh, sit. Uh, and they're just going to uh, rest for about five to 10 minutes before I slice them and serve them up. So there you go. So there you go, those are the finished steaks right there. And then we've got those shishito peppers that are nice and tender. You can see the little sauce that's pulled on one of the peppers and that's the little Asian sauce that I made for it. Really nice, and these were not that spicy, so they were kind of like a mild to medium. And then we've got the finished roasted, or air, rather air fried potatoes in another bowl here. Really good meal, very well balanced. You've got your starch, you've got your meat, you've got a little bit of green, and this was a really delicious meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed the meals for this week. I truly appreciate you stopping by and spending some time with me and I hope to see you in the next video. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. I invite you to do that and become part of my little YouTube little meal family here and I will see you in the next video. Take care until then. Bye-bye.